Good afternoon, and uh, welcome back to the series where I attempt to make an application using AI. Sometimes it goes well, other times I want to set my laptop on fire. Today we are building a chess app. I, um, I had a moment where I thought about trying to do like a, like, a, like a Bob thing, right? And like maybe try and dress up like the Queen's Gambit, but it just wasn't working and I don't, I don't know how to do hair. So you just stuck with normal Annie. Let's build this app. Okay, so this is my starting prompt. It doesn't account for everything, but it's where we're gonna start. Let's build a chess app using Next.js, Tailwind, and WebSockets. For now, let's just have users be able to create a new game, which will have its own unique ID. When a user creates a new game, just give me a unique URL with a blank chess, chess board. I want to be able to store the state of the board in a Postgres database. Let's set up this project using Docker Compose. Oh wait, stop. I forgot something. I was gonna share it a blog post. Okay, so I'm pasting it here. This is what I'm showing. So I wrote this blog post uh, like last year where I talk about how you can use WebSockets with Next.js without having to rely on a third party. I also did the illustration. <laughs> Anyways, I am just going to copy this in. Also, if you see me fiddling with my glasses, I these are my like other pair of glasses that for some reason, are not very secure, they're kind of loose. And I don't know where my other pair is, so. <gasps> there are my glasses! Oh my God! I'm so mad. I'm gonna go switch glasses. Y'all are like, what's the difference? The difference is these don't fall off my face. I forgot that I worked out in here. This is my office slash workout room, and I forgot that I took them off in here. Oh, I didn't know this. There are icons for every chess piece, that's really cool. Oh, I forgot, I need to tell it another thing. One thing is that a lot of these models out there don't yet know that Node um, supports TypeScript now. Most of them are like, oh, sorry, better install TS Node. Basically what I'll do is I'll paste in the blog post announcing that Node now supports TypeScript so it believes me <laughs> so that I can then use Node. Oh, here we go. Let's do it. Blah, blah, blah. How are we doing? What? What do you mean? It's already running. Oh, I might have some containers already run. Let me, I need to stop some other processes. Processes? Process, processes? Let me look at Docker. What's going on? Delete forever. Bahaha. YouTube recipes? Oh, that was from last week. I think we should be good. Let's, I'm gonna close this. I don't like it when they have the terminal window up in a file. I just, I want it all here. Docker compose up build. Okay, database initialized. Wonderful, start a new game. Oh, I don't like this experience. <laughs> Just send me to the page. Why are you giving me, whatever. All right, this is fine. Why do they have, like, why are just the white pawns these icons? Like that's, that's dumb. I will fix that. But first, TypeScript, here we go. Burp, 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 burp. All right, good enough. So I'll just copy this in. Yeah, I always have to give it proof because otherwise, like I can tell it, hey, Node supports TypeScript, but it just like has not been trained to believe that. <laughs> so it's just like, okay, sure, we'll do that. And then it promptly installs TS Node. And I'm like, that's, that's not what I said. So I always give it the blog post. Did y'all ever watch The Queen's Gambit? I thought it was fun. All right, I'm calling it out that it did not change all of the JS files to TypeScript, which in its defense, I didn't technically tell it to do that. I just told it to switch out the server file, uh, which was on, that's on me. Rocket ship emoji, benefits achieved, full type safety, better development experience, modern code, maintain. I know why I switched it. You don't have to sell me on TypeScript, buddy, right? There's, I. I already chose, whatever, this is stupid. Wait a minute, are we doing the pages thing? This is like old school Next.js. It's not that old school, but I have to say that structurally, I don't actually like the app router. Every page is now called page.tsx instead of what the page name is, but whatever, I'm sure it's all for a good reason. All right, let's see if this works. Nope, let's see. Oh, Docker's using the wrong version. That's a sloppy mistake. What? No. I think I need to walk through this step by step because this is not working. Okay, we are starting in a fresh directory with no chat history, no nothing. I think I just wanna do this myself. Honestly, getting set up initially is just sometimes it's such a pain in the butt. I'll just do it. I'll just do it the old fashioned way. All right, now we're going to add express and 
Whip sockets. Okay. So here I'm just gonna grab this um, server file and we're gonna add that here. And I'm just gonna keep it as a JavaScript file for now. I do wanna convert it to TypeScript. Okay, so again, this is a fresh project, so it doesn't know anything. There's nothing to do with chess in this right now. And we are going to start by just converting our server file to a TypeScript file. And uh, this is a great use of an LLM. All right, so this is the server file. So basically we're creating a custom server that will allow for WebSockets, okay? So what happens is our WebSocket server um, sort of piggybacks on top of our normal HTTP server, all right? And so this is how we handle clients. And when people close the connections, we delete the clients, things like that. Basically, when the server receives an upgrade request from the client, um, that is where we will basically send them to the WebSocket server to do its thing. Um, and the other thing is we also don't wanna lose the live reloading. All righty, this is looking good. Okay, now let's actually tell it that we're trying to build a chess app. Okay, so I'm telling it um, that this is gonna be a chess app. And uh, so let's create a button that will give us a unique URL for that new game. And we're just gonna set up the, the board itself. All right, let's check it out. Awesome, looking good. Awesome, yes, wonderful thing. This is wonderful. Oh, one small thing. I don't like that the black ones are solid and these are just, these are just outlines. These are hard to see. Make the white pieces solid like you did with the black pieces. Wait, no, not that. No, okay, hang on, reject all. Sometimes these things just make like the simplest mistakes. Wait, now it's not, what did it do? What did you do? Oh, I know what I did. Turns out if you don't like accept the changes, if you forget to accept all changes and then there's another iteration and it makes more file changes and then you do reject all, then like you've just rejected everything. So that's a little ugly, but it's easier to see. Okay, now this is potentially the hard part. We got to implement the actual chess logic, but I am willing to bet money that there are uh, libraries out there that just have this logic built in. Oh, that's something that's missing. We only have the letters and not the numbers. There we go, perfect. Okay, now let's set things up. Okay, so I'm telling it we're ready for the logic and we should probably use, there's this like chess.js app out there. Yes, install that basically has all the chess logic. Uh, which is great because I don't know all the rules of chess. <laughs> so many of these chess games that I have played, I am not good at chess, but it's very fun. Like I, I am bad enough at chess where I will get stuck on a place and I'm like, I think this is a bug. I think this is a bug and it's not a bug. I'm just, it's a bug in my brain because I can't, I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> it changed my colors. That's rude. All right, whatever, we'll just deal with it for now. All right, let's see, uh-oh, we got an error. You messed up, you done messed up. Ah, did we say use client? Yeah, that's a problem. Can't we just make this a server component? I swear, I was like, why can't we just make it a server component? And it's like, absolutely, that's a much better approach. Absolute kiss ass. That didn't work either. What is happening? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> all the pieces are gone, but all the moves are correct. Let's see. So if we don't have the piece information, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think I know what the issue is. Got it. I think this is the issue. Let's see. Did that fix it? There we go. That fixed it. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. <gasps> All right, I told it not to implement the logic, but it looks like it already did, so who cares, whatever. Let's see if I can, here we go. What happens? Can I take, oh! Wonderful, this is great. Okay, 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 okay. Aha, this is not good though. Okay, so now the issue is that I can play the game, but there's no like web socket situation. So I opened up the same game in another window, but you can see that like the state of the board hasn't been 
conveyed here. So we need to update that. Okay, so I'm telling it to go ahead and use WebSockets to allow for multiple players or, you know, two players. And um, so I wanna know what color I am and whose turn it is. And then we need to make sure that the board is actually, it stays up to date as they play the game. <gasps> All right. Looks like this is working. Oh, okay. All right, awesome. So now it's showing what, which color I'm playing as and whose turn it is. That's great, but the game is disabled right now. Awesome. Okay, here we go. So the game is disabled when it's the other player's turn. Makes sense. All right. We're gonna do stupid moves. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna fully test this out. I'm gonna play a game by myself and I'm gonna just try and lose really quickly so we can see, does it work? Can I win? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put these side by side. Oh, we've got check. We've got check, except for something went wrong. I moved my pawn from here, from E2 to D1, and uh, my queen just turned black. There should be a black pawn there, not a black queen. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I totally forgot a rule of chess. <laughs> this is hilarious, y'all. I just... I forgot that when a pawn makes it all the way to the end, it turns into a queen. Wow, our ugly duckling grew up. I'm just gonna have this queen wreak havoc. How do I win chess against myself? I can't even win. What is happening? Okay, can I just like corner the king? Is that what happens? Am I gonna turn this into a draw? Is this gonna be a draw? Oh. <laughs> I couldn't even win slash lose against myself. Wow. Well, that's fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Let's deploy this to fly.io. Oh, I forgot. I need to update this like local host thing. It's crazy. This problem was staring me straight in the face right as I was deploying this and I just didn't catch it. Yeah, see, okay, so it's already deployed, but as you can see, it's like, it's failing to connect. Yeah, it's a WebSocket error, so clearly that's messed up. So let's go ahead and do fly deploy. We just made these changes to update it to use the, um, the appropriate host name instead. I think this should work just fine. Oh, I... I think I figured it out. <sighs> if this is the issue, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm almost positive this is the issue. I feel so stupid right now. This is the issue, I just know it. I had the Docker file running, npm run start, but previously that was running the next server, not our custom server, not our custom server. The fact that Claude wasn't able to check that is um, a little concerning. The fact that I forgot to check for that is even more concerning because I'm, it means I'm a dumb dumb. Anyways, should have caught that earlier. I was checking fly logs so often and I was like, what is happening? Is there like a status? Is there a platform incident? What's happening? No, we just weren't using <laughs> my custom server. So like, obviously nothing was being logged because we weren't using that server. None of that code was being hit. <gasps> It worked! Yay! Okay, now let's do this. Wonderful. So if I do this, and then this, and then, hey! It's working! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy uh, making this chess game with me. If you'd like to see me build any other particular app, let me know. Um, I know I said I would build a game. This is a game, but you know, it's not original uh, and the logic was already available to me. So maybe I should try something else or just a totally different app. Let me know what you wanna see down in the comment section below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.